All right, what is up, you guys? Digger Dan here, coming at you with another video. This time, picking up with a new game, at least to the channel. Um, everybody knows Minecraft, right? Um, so, because of the Corona crazy right now, and we have so much more time on our hands than I thought we would during this time, my fiance and I uh, have made kind of a cool world, and I just want to kind of show it off um, because we put so many hours into it. I figured might have tried. Might as well try to get a video out of it, right? So, hi, say hi, Derpy Derp. <laughs> hi. Yeah, so that's Derpy Derp. She's got a derp skin on. If she turns around, it's like the derp on the back of her head. Yeah, so, yeah. I don't know, it's just funny. Um, And, yeah. So, let's do a world tour. But first, let's start in the base. Um, We have Iron Golem. <laughs> we got... A little doggo, of course. We don't have a name for him yet. We had some name tags, but then we put them on animals, and then every animal that we put a name tag on died so far. So that's always fun. Um, we have a couple of kitties. There were more, but I think mm -hmm. they might have died. The I won't show you. The What's that? Are mine. I don't know what happened to Jason's cat. Yeah. Yeah. That's yes, right. We've also been playing this uh, with Derpy Derp's brother too. Um, so that's fun. Um, down there is just a typical strip mine. We're not going to really show you that boring stuff. Eventually, we want to put rail cars down there. That'll probably be one of the next big projects. Um, and here is the bedroom. At one point, we want to fill it up with all beds, just because of the irony, you know? Um, stolen from villagers. Yeah, we stole most of these from villagers. I think we made... Derpy Derp and I only made, like, two, just so we could sleep at night. Um... And then where'd she go? She's up here. This is the enchanting table over here. Bam. Got all the bookshelves. I think we might get another row up top too. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but if we keep going up, we haven't really done much with this aside from make um, ladders up to it. But this is kind of like the peak because we're kind of in the... Okay, let's get up. Because we're in the mountain right now. So that's fun. So you can kind of get a quick overview. You see the little pond we got, waterfall, lava fall, all of our colorful animals over there. Little uh, farm. Got our stairs up to the farm. We got a rail cart system with a waterfall on it. I, I think that's what we're going to show next. Oof. Actually, no, let's not show that next. Let's uh, go show off the, the quote-unquote derp canal. Where'd you go, Derpy? There you are. I'm at the canal. Yeah. So what we got so far is we got chest for boats. I know it's really easy to make a boat, but Derpy Derp said, Welcome to Derp Canal. Take a boat and cruise a while. So then I made a chest for the boats. Um, yeah. Lit up by jack-o'-lanterns, of course. We thought we'd make a little dock. It's not finished yet. I got to probably extend it out a little bit, get rid of that sand plot right there um have some sea barnacles or sea pickles i think oh dog's still following us i forgot um walled off that lava flow we got some fishes we went out to the sea or the ocean which we're gonna head to right now and uh got them in a bucket and brought them over here just add a little color to the life you know um so yeah down there is just more canal um, which we'll show you later, but this is the pride and joy. We have a missing boat here, MIA. Um, this took me and Derpy Derp's brother Jason, like, I think literally three hours yesterday. Um, dig through all this, add all the water. Um, because this is basically a straight shot to the ocean, which is nice. Um, but it goes through the middle of a village, which is just funny. It goes to the right, Derp. And then you go right. I gotta still fix some of these corners. Um, or at least put signs or something just so people don't get too lost. Um, but yeah, you see the, the glass tunnel over there, which we'll take back. Um, but yeah, here's the start of the village from the canal. From Derpy Derp Cruise Line. Yeah, and we did it right under their um, their farm plot. Which is just funny to me. Yeah, and we just... Put, we had some of this river was already here, but we just kind of plowed right through it and just connected them. 
and this I'm going to widen, or we're going to widen, um, but this is just uh, the release to the ocean, which is where we got a bunch of the fish um, that we had. I guess we should go like this, shouldn't I? And, yeah. So that's that. The village isn't really all that crazy. Um, but now it's getting night, so I think it'd be cool. Where's the... We gotta head... Let's head back to the, uh... Let's head back to the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the rail cart. Yeah, and take the rail cart home. Yeah. But I think it might be quicker to jump out over here. Pick up the boat. Don't want to lose it. Yeah, we, I, we need to make a path from this to the rail cart just so we don't lose it. Oh, I guess it's not that hard, bad. If you go right here, you can see the entrance right over here, Derp. Oh, that's cool. Um, so there should be, yeah, there's a couple rail carts in here, but you can take this one, Derp. And yeah, somehow we had some spare, we have uh, a chicken just chilling with us, which is always fun. Um, but yeah, let's get this going. Yeah, and this is the entrance, if we would go. And then encase the entire thing in glass. Um, we turned mobs off right now, um, just so we could get stuff built and just so... For the tour just so we're not distracted by it those are some spare carts um oh i forget getting the doggy um but yeah this is cool we li really like i really like it um because i think it re looks really cool um got the whole waterfall thing going really fun sometimes you see fish in there um but it also holds the purpose of being protective or being protected against like the mobs specifically like skeleton um archers or whatever so there's that, which is cool. Um, Doug, you just sit. And then let's go show the farm, Derp. Oh, this is the stairway up. That was pretty quick. This is pretty standard farm. You got your melons, you got your wheat, you got your beets, you got your potatoes, you got your carrots, and then of course your pumpkins make all those glorious jack-o'-lanterns. And then let's start over here. We did have some traders, um, but we killed one of the traders so we could get, so, so we could take their, uh, take their llamas or alpacas. I forget what they're actually called. Um, and some, yeah, and we got horses too. We found a couple horses. We only have one saddle, I think. Um, but we yeah, do have I armor. I think we stole the armor and the horse from one of the villages that we found. Yeah, that's all from the village. Yeah, this other horse, this brown horse, we just found just chilling. Um, yeah, so we have a bunch of chickens. I don't know how they like the animals are getting in different pens because we're there, not we're not opening them at there all. There is a, a door like right here in the middle, and like when you're killing them or like feeding them, you sometimes hit it. Oh. Uh, I, mean, I sometimes hit it, and yeah. then they. Come. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize there was a door or a gate or whatever. Okay, good to know. But yeah, we have a bunch. Um. So if you didn't know, you can make sheep colorful. You just get some dye and add it to a white sheep, and then it turns into whatever color dye you give. So that's fun. Um, and we've been making them frick a lot to get that XP. <laughs> um, and this is cows. Got to get that leather. Um, I think eventually... Mm, excuse me. I think eventually we were thinking about opening... Okay, I can't get up there. Whatever. Opening that or cutting this fence off and opening this up for the cows. Um, but maybe not. I don't know. It was just a thought. No, we're going to... We're moving them. We're herding them. We're going to take them on the other side of the mountain. So we're going to drill through the mountain and then somehow herd all the cows over to the other side of the mountain. Oh, I missed that. And I just fell. So that's fun. And then... Oh, I should show you these. So, like I said, um, every animal we've named so far has somehow died um jason named one of the sheep dinner bone thinking it was gonna flip it upside down but we think that's only with horses um and then jeb derp put that on one of the sheep and uh makes it like a rainbow effect it's really cool um but i think i killed them unfortunately without paying attention when i was doing a mass calling of the sheep um so yeah derp thought it would be appropriate to put these put these signs there um, 
Oh, um, yeah, so on the way to the other big wheat farm, this is the bridge from the tunnel. Um, we have, what, what are they called, jungle trees? Yeah, we got the seeds from that trader guy that came to our village. Yeah, so the first, yeah, the second trader, um, actually had good stuff. He had jungle saplings, and so with those, we kept getting more and more, and then we finally made, got enough to make a jumbo tree, because I think you need, like, four saplings, excuse me, right next to each other, um, so that works out pretty well. And then we got some other trees. We found some spruce, got those growing now. But yeah, so we have four plot full of, uh, of wheat over here just dedicated to wheat um i screwed that up i'm sorry um just so we can make our animals frick forever <laughs> basically um oh actually i want to show this too i want to show like the actual oh yeah so that's walled off this is the actual waterfall which took a little bit to uh to do we got oh oh no the fish they're just chilling but yeah, we got a lot of fish over here now. That's fun. Um, we were I thinking... Yeah. yeah. Originally, we were going to drill through here for the for the canal and like go have the waterfall effect. But then we thought it might just be better to do the straight shot because over here, you can mm -hmm. go into here. But then before we thought about doing the whole canal, we built this rail system and i really don't want to have to adjust it because this glass was a really pain really real hard hard pain to to figure out so that was just uh just go around idea. it or you need to connect those two water you mean i was wanting to connect that that was the original thought you could, you could even make it like an underwater underwater or make it go above the glass you know oh yeah well with boats though you can't go like above like up uh waterfalls or anything mm. like that anyway that was just a thought um, but yeah, the last thing we're going to show you on the tour is the strip mine, which I told you I wasn't going to show you, but now we are because it's part of what we made, so why not? Yeah, this is another thing that's nice about these waterfalls is that not only fish, not only do fish spawn in them, but you can use them to go up. It's fun. Um, boop, 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 boop. There we go. So yeah, oh, we also stole some bells from, uh, um from the villages oh yeah jason and i went on a quest in the ocean and we found heart of the sea which i think is really rare but we gotta oh, figure yeah. out what we can do with it we do have a name tag but i'm kind of reluctant to use it because like i said every animal we've named so far has died so <laughs> um yeah, yeah. This is basically just all of our storage in here yeah and then, well, I guess I gotta do that flex with all the diamonds. So that's iron. That's the lupus. Okay, yeah, all the diamonds and emeralds. It's not crazy, but we haven't. We've only put what maybe twenty hours in it, like each person, maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't know. yeah. So now I'm coming like down here. Not even that much. Maybe ten or fifteen hours a person. Yeah. We've only played it a couple days. Yeah. So this is just a little offshoot before we made it down to. This goes into a cave. Oh, so that's right. I forgot about the cave found, system. We started mine, uh, strip mining, and we found this mine shaft in the middle of our, right underneath our base. Yeah, I forgot about that. But yeah. So. But yeah, just there. a few steps lower is where the strip mine starts. Because if you're on PC or Java Edition, which is what we have, and if you hit F3, it pops this menu up. Um, and if you look at the X, Y, Z axis, axes or whatever, um, on the left side, as you move, the numbers change and that tells you what level you're on. Um, so for the Y axis, which is up and down, we've, we found that the ideal, um, level for diamond is 12. So that's why we're on 12. And then you just dig straight and then you skip two and then dig straight and skip two and dig straight. Um, and yeah. Yeah. So the purpose of this is to find diamond. Yeah. And coal and emeralds and everything. Yeah. A couple of them, we've even found more mine or more caves. Yeah, that's um, true. Like so we've definitely found... Systems, which is cool. Yeah, we've definitely found a lot of good stuff, so... Yeah, so that is... That's Diggerland Tour. Um, 
So yeah, if you guys like this type of video where Minecraft in general, please hit like down below. If you guys are interested in more, please hit that subscribe button um, as well as that bell notification icon so you guys know when I upload. Um, maybe see more derpy derp in the future. Um, Tell us what we should add or expand onto our town. Yeah, and if you guys have any recommendations, definitely throw those down in the comments down below and maybe we'll have future videos on it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, really appreciate it, and I'll catch you in the next video.